Greetings people of YouTube, Duck and Creepers here, and today I'm back for another episode of Survival Liberty Architecture. Forever alone, because no one's picking up Skype. So, what have I been doing recently? Well, I went on a vacation to Washington DC, which explains why there haven't been uploads in so many days. And I didn't have internet or my laptop, so that wasn't fun. But anyways, during what free time I've had, a little while before vacation and since getting back, I've been digging this mine thingy. It's a very nice mine thingy. And I'm afraid of sneaking on stairs because that happens. Oh my god, I lived! This armor is a boss. What the hell? I just like fell <laughs> ridiculously far. Okay, extended iron armor. This is the armor of champions. Except I can't even see out of it. Because the eye holes are too low. So that's good. Okay. Yeah. Mine. In this episode, I want to make it pretty. So let's make it pretty. Pretty mines. Oh god. My mom's flipping out in the background. I hope you guys don't hear it. But then again, my mic sucks, so it probably won't pick up on anything. So, we need some oak wood, because I don't have, like, any of that. And we're gonna furnish the stairs with it. Seriously, though, that armor is absurd. I thought I was dead for sure. See, that's why you don't sneak on stairs, kids. Because it doesn't work properly, and you just fall to your death. Bullcrap and schmackin. I haven't made a ton of progress on the base yet, but I got this very nice mine. I'll eventually have some, probably a minecart rail connecting them because I've never done anything with minecart rails, and I really should do something with minecart rails at least once in my Minecraft career. I mean, I've built roller coasters in creative, but. I've never actually done anything in survival. Speaking of which... Achievements. Yeah, isn't that on the rail achievement like the hardest thing in the entire game to get? Because you have to like, drive across a kilometer of rails. Can you just go in a circle? I feel like that would be too easy if you could just go in a circle and get the achievement. So yeah, this was a very fun mine to try to dig out. Or, basically me acting like a buildcraft quarry, digging out a huge square. Because why the hell not? And I almost died numerous times from lava and hostile mobs and cave nonsense. I literally dug straight through a cave system. It's pretty fun. Almost. curse bloated. I've got iron for days now. I literally... I still only found two diamonds. Only two. I have stacks of iron that I've wasted on pickaxes. But I still have only found two diamonds. In my mining expeditions. Good job, duck. Look, we got apples. Better fruit than watermelons. Meow, meow, meow. Hi, chicken. How's it going, Mr. Chicken? Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to do this series with the resource pack on pretty soon. Because I've been working on resource pack ports of more materials. And at least if I can have the building materials looking nice with the resource pack, then I'll use one. Because... My main, I mean, my main issue with resource packs is not looking properly, is when you have a huge building made out of modded materials. That just doesn't look like all the vanilla stuff. I can live with, like, the furnaces and chests or whatever not having the resource pack textures, because I'm too lazy to do resource pack support for everybody else. If they want to support resource packs, 
By all means. But I am not doing it. Probably use BD Craft. Find what existing textures I can. Work on the more materials ones. Which is gonna be gross because BD Craft 64 by 64 is the one I usually use. And. Oh god. 64 by 16. 16 by 16 is pain enough for making textures. Oh well. Hopefully I can use my school's Photoshop that we have in my physics room for no reason at all. Yeah, that's a fun fact. That's what I've used to make a lot of textures during physics class. Just been using the Photoshop that is on the computers for whatever reason. Photoshop CS3. We do absolutely nothing with it in physics, but the computers have it installed. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining because GIMP doesn't work at the school very well because, you know, you can't, unfortunately, you can't install anything that requires DLL files because the school's like, no, you can't modify anything. So that limits the programs you can use to mostly the crappy school ones. I've been using GIMP in the other rooms in school because I found this thing, it's like Spoon, and it's a weird API, I don't even know what it is, it's probably not, not an API, I don't know what to call it, but it's just something that lets you run programs without having to download them fully, and I use it for GIMP, and it worked pretty well, so that made me happy. I'm just ranting about textures now, very nice. Dun 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 dun. Mark is online. I hope I set my status to busy so I don't get interrupted with a Skype call during this recording. That should be enough planks to get us started. Let's convert them to more materials. Uh, Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -ba -da. I just like lag spiked when I tried to finish that recipe. Um. Um. There, those can go in there. Yeah, I just have ch I just have like two full double chests of cobblestone from doing this. <laughs> I'd have even more if I hadn't been filling in all the caves and lava lakes and whatnot. Everywhere there's cobblestone was just caves. You'll see as you get farther down, can't see a lot from here, but really far down there's just tons of it. It was super annoying. Okay, so I guess we'll just use sanded oak stairs and stuff. Sounds pretty good to me. We. I love carpenter's blocks. If you don't have it, you should get it. Because even if you don't play with mods, that add building materials, you'll appreciate being able to use more vanilla stairs than the game would normally allow you to. And fences and walls and whatnot. Stone brick walls. Did I just apply... What the... the hell did I just do? Okay. Whatever. Okay. That was weird. I just spazzed the game. Let's go get whatever fell down here. That's stupid. Why did it put another plank on the stairs? I don't know. Oh god, don't fall off. Actually, it doesn't even matter if I fall off because I live, apparently. Sleep. Z Om nom 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 apple 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 apple. Okay, very nice. There we go. Sanded planks for days. Wood, wood, wood. Oh my god, I should play with that April Fool's resource pack on. That'd be so funny. 
Yeah, I can't believe I missed that. I was actually programming all day on April Fool's Day, so I never actually logged into any 1.7 servers. And I never saw the April Fool's joke this year in action. But it sounds hilarious, like, watching all the YouTubers who showed people how it works. I was dying. It's just so ridiculous. So, I guess we really don't... I guess we can kind of... Sneaking on stairs. Very bad idea. Oh god, almost died again. So, let's... Get... No, don't break the stairs, you stupid head. That's a shovel. And just get rid of the support blocks. Because Minecraft physics... It... Oh my god, this armor is, like, the champion at life. Probably take away, like, 20 durability every time I do that, but... Holy crap, that's amazing how I can just fall all the way down here and be fine. Probably a little overpowered, considering it really doesn't cost too, too much once you get lots of iron. And it seems to protect me more than diamond. And sadly, even extended tools can't quite reach all the way up there. I hear you, zombies, but guess what? You can't get me because I blocked off all your stupid caves. I wonder if the reason I can't sneak is because it's the carpenter's block stairs. Because I'm pretty sure I've been able to sneak on vanilla stairs without too much difficulty. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I apologize if my commentary isn't very interesting. I'm not very good at comment commentating, commentating by myself. Not to mention I can't yell and be obnoxious like I would sometimes want to because I have a house with family. Like it's really annoyed. If I make too much noises. As they're making too much noises right now. But you know. Shit happens. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Potato. Almost done. We can do it. Do not break the stairs. Is that it? Is that everything? I think it is. Good work. Now let's go get all the cobblestone at the bottom of the abyss the here. Minecraft logic. You can just have a staircase with absolutely no support whatsoever. Hmm. Righto. I would use slopes, but I disabled those because they just seem weird and they cause a lot of lag. It'd be cool to have the slopes, like, connect all the stairs at the bottom like that, but... I am afraid to do that because every time I try to use slopes, I... My FPS just goes to crap. I don't know why. Minecraft just isn't built for intricate geometry like that, I guess. I love how you- I love how there's just this little gap here. I wish there was like some way to- I don't know. To make a stair that properly goes up corners like this. I don't know what it would look like. I mean, I guess there would be one more piece there, but that would stop you from running up the- that side, so... I'm not really sure how it would work, but... I don't know, spiral stairs are quite the challenge in this game. Okay, what else can we do to make this mine fabulous? Is it bad that I don't even know where the center is? 
I know I made it so it had a center. I just did it before vacation, and I forget how big I made it, honestly. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, almost died. Okay. Easy does it. There we go. It's very nice. Shut up, baby zombies. Should I say midget zombies? Anyone else hate those things? Did they make them burn in the sunlight yet? If not, they really should. Because those things are obnoxious as all hell to deal with. And then to add insult to injury, they don't die when the sun comes out. So you'll just have a bunch of zombie midgets ready to storm your base. As the sun comes up. Oh well. At least I'm in single player, so... I have beds. I'm actually not at all used to playing with beds. <laughs> because I am very much an SMP player. So I've never really... done... beds. You know what I'm saying? Do ya? Do ya, punk? I am so sorry for whatever that was. Two, three, four, five. Oh god. Jump! Oh, Jesus. I'm Spider Man. Eight. And then, bridge across. Dem skills. Building weird stuff in the air like this is not a fun time. I should have been building this as I went down, but I kind of needed something at least somewhat interesting to be doing during the video. The good news is, if I die, I don't die, if that makes any sense. If I fall to what should be my death, I'm just completely fine. Because this armor is extremely powerful. It's ridiculous. It, I can't even imagine. Extended diamond armor, I'll probably just be able to, like, jump from the build height to, like, bedrock and take, like, two hearts. Okay. Connect that up. And then we fall, and then, and then we kind of go around this, and go collect the fallen wood down here, which is still here, very nice. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Okay. I love this little... I'm going to actually credit this mod decently because I cannot say the name. So this is it. Zien's... Zien? I guess that's how you say it? Zien's HUD. It is a phenomenal heads-up display mod. I should really get damage indicators. Also, one thing I have discovered with 1.7 packs is you have extreme problems if you try to add, remove, or upgrade, update mods on existing worlds. So this Let's Play will probably have a world reset done periodically. Because, I mean, I'll like, bring over stuff and whatnot. But it'll just be so I can actually update things and add things as more mods become 1.7 compatible. Because right now, almost nobody is. So I don't have a huge collection of mods, but I'd like to get up to my usual collection size of ridiculousness. At some point. Wait, did I nest it under the stair things? I probably did, didn't I? Okay. I'll double check that I'm doing this right, eventually, but...
Yeah, I just got extremely sidetracked, sorry. Um, yeah. What happens is Forge will shift the IDs, because they're all assigned internally. Like, when I'm experimenting with more materials 1.1, if I load up the existing worlds, like, the new items, like, Tonalite showed up as arrows. So it just breaks all the crafting recipes, and it's just a total disaster trying to add mods to existing worlds now that the internal ID system is in place. So yeah, world resets every now and then. Obviously, after I, like, finish all the builds that I'm working on on that world, and I'll bring over most of my valuables, and then start building a base anew. Because... silliness. Like, even if it's not a world gen mod, like, even if it's just a crafting recipe mod, you actually can add it to existing worlds, and that pisses me off. New worlds, it'll work fine if you add, remove, or change stuff, but existing things, the internal ID system just breaks everything. So, it might be easier for the end user in the short term, but in the long term, the old way was easier, because you could at least configure things, so you could change your mod pack and still keep your worlds intact. I don't know if that makes sense. Do I make sense? Probably not. Okay. Sleep. Okay, so yeah, it looks like if you extend that out, it does go under that corner stair, so I was right. I should probably have the top one under that for consistency's sake, I think. I'll probably just be building this mind shift frame thing, and that'll be this entire video. Hmm. Consistency. OCD, here we go. So I have to move it down just one layer. Up at the top. Can I reach with... Yes, I love extended tools. I can reach so much further. I just wish there was like an extended arm or something. So when you're placing blocks, you can reach further. That would be exceptionally useful. Okay. Time to appease the great OCD. Da 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 da. Okay, so now this will align properly with the other ones, and I do not want to place a wood block there. Inventory tweaks is the best thing ever. I was having, like, withdrawals when I first shifted to 1.7, before there was 1.7 forge, because no inventory tweaks. I don't know how many of you guys watched that On the Moon episode, which we still do need to do more of, but I kept pressing R, expecting my items to sort. It's... the inventory tweaks is another one of those mods that you can't live without once you start using it. It's just exceptionally useful. Get it, if you haven't. Get Zins, HUD, and Inventory Tweaks, because both of them are client-side, so you can do a lot with them. Although you might get kicked on servers for trying to do that torch placer thing for moving your items around too fast. I don't really know how servers go about detecting such things. But you know how it goes. Okay. Uh, I don't not want to mine that with a pickaxe. Okay, one more of these, and then we'll finish up this weird little scaffoldy thing, and then we'll end the video. Sorry if it was boring, but we're making progress here. We got a mine, soon I'll be able to get tons of diamonds for mining down here, hopefully. Or at the very least, more than the two diamonds that I have in my possession presently. Believe it or not, this area right here was actually, like, I mined by exploring this cave system. And I actually came down here, 
And I had my little cobble bridges in the lava lake that I mined into with this quarry. I thought that was pretty funny how I hit the exact same area. Okay, one more fabulous thingy here. These are very much annoying to get onto. Jump! Nope. Oh well, at least I'm closer to the ground now, so... I don't sustain as much bodily injury as I did falling from the very top. And it looks like I'm gonna sustain more bodily injury as I completely and utterly fail to jump. Ready? Parkour! Nope. Nope. I guess we're just gonna do the same thing I did before, which is... Fall. Nope. I don't know why I can't do this all of a sudden. I'm sorry, I'm failing you guys so much. I need to do some more Minecraft and Ninja videos, huh? Get some practice in on parkour courses. I actually was doing a lot of parkour practice on SUG as I was designing courses. But it looks like all that effort was for nothing because nobody plays SUG! So I'll probably be going back to that UG Lounge MCMMO server that I did a build showcase on in time immemorial. And I'll be going back on there and I'll be, I don't know, modding. As, not, that was a poor choice of words. Having both an in-game staff rank and a type of add-on for the game use the same exact name is probably not the best idea that has ever been. For God's sake! I can't even deal with this. Okay, I literally jump and nothing happens. Is it the carpenter's blocks? Can you, like, not jump? Uh, no, you can. Sorta. You know what? Screw it. That's how we're doing it. I'm sorry I can't deal with parkour right now. Six, seven, eight. God. I'm gonna get so much hate in the comments for not being able to do that <laughs> jump. It's such an easy jump, I don't know why I couldn't- I did it up there, sort of. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then over here. The sand and planks just look so much nicer than the vanilla planks because they don't have that ugly little grain thing. That always annoyed me. Now you can kind of see like dots in the wood. You know what I'm talking about. Sand and planks, I got rid of those. Pretty much everything else is identical to the vanilla wood texture on sanded planks. Ow. So many ows. GG armor. You done good protecting me from all of my stupidness. Ugh. Can't reach. Ugh. Still can't reach. There we go. See? You need the extended arm. Seriously, do it. Extended workbench. We need an extended arm. So yeah, I guess that's a pretty good start on the mine. I'll probably add some more prettiness between episodes. I just don't want this to run too long. I don't know how long it's been because I'm terrible about looking at the clock during my recordings. But I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings and buildings and falling on my face and invincible armor hacks. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!